we're going to go ahead and jump into game number one of this best of three series here in the losers bracket final spawning on the top right hand side we have our blue protoss player showing a very convincing pvp play let's see if he can pull it out in pvz as well it is going to be the blue protoss zerg army on the one o'clock position here on neo planet s his opponent spawning on the lower left hand side we have seen quite a bit of zvp out of him so far and he's been very very dominating in that matchup his weakness maybe some void ray play needs to get a little bit of mid game aggression if he's going up against stargate it is going to be uh, uh, impulses Amundil as our green zerg player on the lower left hand side once again here on neo planet s he is going to be down in that seven o'clock position and he favors for some reason or another going for that 12 pool it's actually kind of a like, kind of a nice little opener because it allows him if he wants to if he runs out across the map and goes you know oh my opponent's doing x i can be aggressive then he can just go ahead and do that yeah, we're actually getting a quick pause out of zerg army here probably just uh, maybe a little bit of lag or something i know some of these players are playing from the eu i don't know exactly where where either of these players in specific are from so the protoss versus zerg matchup is kind of in a an awkward state right now i would say because uh, because both both races are like kind of trying to switch their metagame at the same time And so it kind of ends up with like, you know, well the zerg player, you know is going swarmos, but void rays But no colossus to the ground army is dead. You know, it's like this awkward flux where everything goes right and wrong at the same time I don't even know how to describe it. It's like they they, they constantly are soft countering each other at the same time Which is just kind of weird. So Amandil once again is going to be going for this earlier pool here Which is going to allow him to be a little bit aggressive if he so desires to he did get that extractor down fairly early as well So I can only imagine that he's going to be going ahead and getting metabolic boost pretty early on as well here Yep going to be putting all three of those workers onto that gas Excuse me so going to be taking a little bit of map control, seeing that this is a gateway expand, he might uh, might pump out a few extra zerglings, but really the gateway expand is quite a safe opener. There, there really is no super powerful way to punish it. I mean, if you see it coming, uh, if you as, as a Protoss player, if you see a 10 pool coming, you can even hold off against a 10 pool. Going to be dropping down the pylon down at the natural. That's not really going to delay it all that much. Did it remember to get the cancel on it? I know that is like the woe of Protoss players everywhere. It's forgetting to cancel that pylon that you're using to block your opponent's uh, natural expansion. It's just like you you see it die. It's like oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So with the earlier pool is able to kill that off fairly easily. That's not going to be that big of a deal. And in fact, he's not. He's not taking that base. He's not taking that base at all. In fact, that Zergling is scouting around. I think that this is going to be some sort of super aggression here. We have the Roach worn down. It looks like Amadil is going to be looking to take a very early game number one here. And immediately, five Roaches are being spawned out onto the map. No metabolic boost. He doesn't need that. He just needs a lot of strong, tanky units right now. And guess what, guys? There's no forge on this map right now for Zerg Army. He's going to be finding himself in a world of hurt very, very quickly here. This is looking very dangerous now for Zerg Army. Really, once again, the Gateway Expand is a great build. If you remember to get that forge early on, you cannot skip the forge in case you see something like this coming across the map. And now that probe does see all five of those roaches coming out right now. And Zerg Army is going to be taking a big breath of air here because he's going to have to make something happen here. There is this Mothership Core up in the air, which is going to help a little bit in the defense. I mean, he will soon have enough for the Photon Overcharge. But, I mean, do you throw that down at the natural? If you do, then the roaches run to the main base. If you throw it down in the main base, so they just sit down and pick off the natural expansion. Zergling is going to be running in here. They're going to see that natural. I can almost see Amadil. He's he's uh, rubbing his hands together right now. He sees a little bit of damage that he can do here at the very least. Mothership Core up in the air. Going to start wailing away at these Roaches. They really just aren't going to be able to do all that much damage. Going to force the force shields coming out right there. And there's the Photon Overcharge down at that natural expansion. That's going to be enough, I think, to repel this. That Photon Overcharge does quite a bit of damage there. That being said, that Nexus down by half of its health. Almost half of its health now. And here come the units from up on top of that ramp. They're going to be running down here and now going to be able to reinforce that and actually it's going to be pushed off with very very little little problem at all and zerg army actually didn't take any damage he didn't lose a single unit there all he lost was a little bit of energy and that actually went surprisingly well i'd say for zerg army considering how little he had on the map right there that was perfect really 
So now Almondil, going to be back home. He's going to start droning up a, a little bit at this point, I, I'd say. Pulled all of his units off of gas and just going to be now uh, kind of transferring some of those down to the natural expansion and trying to get his economy back up and running. He didn't really behind in economy because Zerg army did have to throw down the additional gateways to defend against that, or at least chose to. I guess in the end he really didn't use any of the units, any of the actual warp gate technology there. But, I mean, he do he wasn't spending his time Chrono boosting out a bunch of probes trying to take a big lead. So now, Zerg army, he has a little bit of an army on the map. He's going to be moving out across the map. My ZV can do a little bit of damage. He does have quite a few sentries, which can be a pretty big problem. Amundil did see this with his overlord that is next to the natural expansion. Is going to immediately be dropping down two spine crawlers, which should potentially be enough to hold off against this, as long as you get some units out on the map to help reinforce this. That being said, only three roaches on the way. He's very resourced off right now. There we go. A couple of additional roaches. And a macro, uh, pardon me, a gold base going down in the middle of the map if he can hold this off. One force field going down in kind of an awkward position there. The first spine crawler does die already. The force field going down on the ramp. That's going to cut off any reinforcements. And I think this is going to be going very well for Zerg Army here. Amadil took a chance in game number one. I don't think it paid off. Roach is now coming out into the natural expansion there from these eggs. But I don't think it's going to be enough. GG for Amadil. Zerg Army takes a quick game one. That, that, wow, Almondil, I, I thought Almondil was going to be able to do a lot of damage there with that five roach rush, but as it turned out, there were just enough sentries on the field. He was able to get the force field down on the on the main ramp, so that wasn't a problem. They didn't just need to defend his natural. With that mothership core there, with enough energy for the photon overcharge, it really was almost no contest to defend against that. In fact, he almost didn't even need the units to be coming running down the ramp to defend against that. So while we have a quick moment here, I already changed the setting that will allow me to use the in-game overlay.